G'day folks, welcome to another episode of the Snowy's Camping Show. Joined, you are joined by myself, Ben, and my colleague, Lauren. If you haven't already done so, if you've joined us before and haven't already done so, or if you're new to the show, please subscribe via YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and you can join in on the conversation. I'm hoping we can get lots of people in on this conversation on the uh, Snowy's Facebook um, group. Oh, man, I can't get my words today. The Snowy's Camping Show <laughs> Facebook group. Um because today's episode, I will. I'll, I'll be getting as many people on my side as I can. Yeah, we're going to see a bit of angry Lauren later, because this this kind of it's already the, here. This episode here stems from a long conversation we had across the office, right on a Teams chat yeah. app over uh, the definition of of of, of a swags or tents, but we kind of labelled it swents. So we're talking about swents for this episode, aren't we? Because there's there's now this kind of vague sort of space between what a swag is and what a tent is that kind of have the features of both. Yeah. Now you're quite passionate I'm about pretty passionate. where it sits and it, and mm-hmm. it really stemmed from our, we do like a, we, we put out articles that are best of articles, so top yeah. 10 swags, right? And at the top of this article was, uh, which we won't go into too much detail just yet, but a, a, a tent yeah. that you downright said it should not be there. It yeah. just doesn't belong. Correct. And. Anyway, I that's got, what yeah, this I was real mad, about. and yeah. so this is this is what this episode is because ultimately, um, I'm right, and I think most of our listeners are going to agree with me, but I wasn't right about the outdoor connection, outdoor compact, connection, the outdoor connection compact collapsible stool. <laughs> <laughs> I just got I was, yeah, I'm going right. back a long way, but I was very wrong with that. I was adamant that that was the worst thing and that nobody was going to like it and it flies out the door well, and everyone I, I like, bangs on about how great it is and I was wrong. So I know you're saying you're right now, but I do like <laughs> that you've waited to a live environment like this or a public environment like this to finally sort of say, yeah, I think you're, you're actually right, Ben. You are and right, Ben. I'm sorry. I was wrong. So, but anyway, it says Swent. We, we've labelled it Swent. It is in mm. Urban Dictionary, right? So someone's got along before us and, and, co- yeah, and, and labelled it Swent. But if you don't know what the Urban Dictionary is, it's pretty funny. Don't take it too seriously. No. Um, but it's essentially like a, an alternative dictionary for words that don't quite make the cut. Um, and sometimes they're ones that people make up or, you know, slang or whatever. But in the case of a swent, uh, the the Urban Dictionary definition is a hybrid temporary dwelling, which is a cross between a swag and a tent. These devices are used for short-term camping, typically over one or two nights. So hopefully after this episode we can get swent into the Oxford Dictionary. So that's, <laughs> <laughs> so Oxford will have it denied <laughs> stamp. So uh, – well, well let, let's move back to what the definition of a of a swag. So traditionally, yeah. mm-hmm. a, a swag, I guess, a bedroll was what it was called. Well, way I back, have really. the official definition of what a swag is. That's what you think. But what, but, but what do you think a swag is? Because I think a swag is something that is essentially an all in one one bed that you can roll up or unroll and you can just get in and out of it and it's give you a shelter and a bed but it's all in one. And, you know, it's practically – it's it's important. Like, you know, it's not it, – you can move it around. You can carry it around. I mean, you wouldn't yeah. necessarily want to carry it on your back but, you know, no. it's just chuck it in and out of the car, whatever. I, I, I agree with you there. Yeah. Yeah, traditionally a swag, and I like the envelope style swags, which is just a bit of fabric oh, yeah. over the top, whether that's sort of flat or apex, it might have – one small pole or something to kind of lift yeah. it up off your face um, so you can sleep underneath it, maybe a bit of boz, uh, mozzie mesh or something in there to keep the mozzies out mm-hmm. and a mattress inside, you can roll it up and you can throw it on a roof rack or whatever and it's yeah. reasonably waterproof when it's rolled up. So yeah. that that is by definition. So an all-in-one well, bed and shelter. All-in-one bed and shelter, yeah. yeah. You, so okay, I'm, just, you're, you're I'm just, just – You're already going, see, I'm right. But. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm making, making sure that I'm yeah. very clearly understanding the words that you're saying so okay. I can use right. them against you. In, yeah, you're on a in the short here, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but it's that definition was um, thrown, sort of challenged when I, I think Darcy actually introduced or invented the dome swag, mm. which was probably that first step towards a swag becoming a tent, but it never really kind of, it still maintained its swag kind of feel. It just had some hoop poles in it to kind of give it a bit of structure on top mm-hmm. so that this, the, the material was off your face. But it's still ultimately. And all in one bed and shelter, though, right? <laughs> po- poles or not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I agree with you there. Yeah. So I just want to read what the definition according to the dictionary. I can't remember which one it is. What is it? It's um, 
There's Oxford and there's another one. Something and and something and it starts with an M. A Miriam Webster. Or Miriam Webster yeah. or something. Yeah. So the definition of a swag in Australia: a swag is a portable sleeping unit. One, it is normally a bundle of belongings rolled in a traditional fashion to be carried by a foot traveller in the bush. Before motor transport was common, foot travel over long distances was essential to agriculture in the Australian bush. Obviously, swag man and stuff like that. It is sometimes referred to as a backpack bed. Swags have been carried by shearers, miners and the unemployed and many others, some of whom would have been happy to be called swagmen and some not. So I think it's pretty clear, both in our sort of personal opinions and the actual definitions, that it is a bedroll and a shelter rolled into one. Yeah. That's what a swag is. Yep. Cool. All right. Let's move. I just want to point out that you have – Put this information together on the sheet that we're reading from here. So you basically loaded it in your favour. I haven't. I've just put the facts out really clear. I've just put it out there too that I haven't actually said I disagree with anything you're saying. <laughs> the argument was about something a little different, but let's not get personal. No, but so, it, what it will become evident as we progress throughout this conversation. Maybe. Maybe. So moving on to a tent. Okay. What is a tent exactly? So person, personal opinion, I haven't written anything down, but it's a it's a single or dual skin fabric that is held in place with some form of frame or yeah. structure. Mm-hmm. You, it, it doesn't have the bedding rolled up inside. It's just the shelter and not, not even necessarily a, a bottom to it. Mm-hmm. It's just something that goes over the top to protect you from – could be mosquitoes yeah. if, if it's um, if it's not wet, but often has a, a fly sheet over the top yeah. to keep you dry as well. And I'd probably also throw into there that it it often will have the ability, or they often tend to be larger, and and not just be a place for sleeping, but also to be you know like a place where a whole family can be or you know like it's more yeah. of a gathering place. Like, yeah, larger, but they come. So, so <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you can get single person tents. Yeah, you can. But yeah. Up to 12, yeah. you know, uh, 15, 18 people tents. Some, Some massive tents are massive are and huge. you can get, yeah, you can get stuff that's bigger than my house, I reckon, because I don't live in a massive house. But <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure at like a caravan and camping show, especially back in the day when those big canvas tents were yeah. a lot more popular when I was a kid, guaranteed there were what, some setups that were bigger than my house. Yeah, it's crazy. Some of them you tack together and you can create a whole village yeah. of tents. But, but so, yeah, you're right. So, like, you know, you can get little hiking tents and stuff that are just a tiny little one-person thing. Yeah. But they're generally – well, see, they're made from – and this is where it gets grey. The, the bigger ones are made from canvas. But if you make a small one from canvas, that's where this grey area comes yeah. in because we'll go into it shortly about some examples of these products that could be made from a lightweight material, perhaps called a tent. But yeah, anyway. um, I guess for the, me the diff- the tent is is the tent is a shelter that that isn't an all in one. It's a sh- it's basically just a sheltered structure. It's not a doesn't include your bed. It doesn't include your bedding. It doesn't whatever. It's just a sheltered structure that yep. you can put whatever you want in. Okay, so you've got a definition here. Where did you get this from? This is also from the same location. Like Miriam Webster, oh, I reckon right. it so was like tent, online. A tent is a shelter consisting of sheets of fabric or other material draped over or attached to a frame of poles or attached to a supporting rope. While smaller tents may be freestanding or attached to the ground, large tents are usually anchored using guy ropes tied to stakes or tent pegs. First used as portable homes by nomads, tents are now more often used for recreational camping and as temporary shelters. Mm-hmm. So... We've run through, I guess, what the high level definition. Yeah. We know tent. The d- we swag, know right? what a d- we know what a tent the, is, the, and we know what a swag but, is. But the guts of this, what we're talking about today, stem from our top ten. Because I don't swags. even think swents are real. That's where I'm going with all this. Swents don't exist. Okay. Well, you're not. It's not going to get in the Oxford, Oxford dictionary. No, it's <laughs> if not. You, if you're not but on I, board, but right? I genuinely <laughs> don't think swents exist. I think it comes down to. A, okay. I think everything can either fall into a swag or a tent category just okay. basically by looking at the definition. Well, I've got a couple of questions for you on that shortly, right? So this, this stems off our top 10 swag article. Okay, yeah, so we've you've, got, we've, you've mentioned every, it. Every, yeah. I have yet. So. But what I wanted to say in addition to that. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you were saying, geez, I, can, I can see the steam's rising. It's about to blow out your ears shortly. <laughs> this is why everyone's like, you should do a podcast on this. And I was like, yep. no, because I'm really passionate and my rage will come out and people will see a side of me that should never be released. Anyway, 
Okay. But Can that, I go? that article was based on sales data ultimately. So it wasn't something that Snowy's staff picked. We had a no. look at the at the overarching sales data for the particular categories and picked the top 10 most sold swags. Yeah, which kind of does a loop, right? We sell some, I get good reviews, people read the reviews, we buy more. So it's driven by the community around how many. Correct. Like we don't, it's not skewed in any way. It's just purely what people have bought and liked. Right. And so part of my job is to proof the blog posts before they go live <laughs> on the blog is to just read through them. And I was absolutely. Livid. Livid, appalled. It's a travesty. It ended with you saying, I've got nothing more to say. I'm so angry. This is how passionate you were about this. <laughs> Basically, the swagger. Which was, is a Coleman product. Which is a Coleman tent. Really popular Coleman. A just really call it a popular for now. Coleman tent was chosen as number one. Now, my little, um, what do you call it? Like the little asterisks or my little sort of insert or I don't know, whatever to say of this overarching conversation is I have two Coleman Swagger tents, love them, think they're amazing. They're a great product. There is absolutely no part of this discussion, which is me saying that those tents are rubbish. That's not the point. The point is they're not swags. And the fact that they were number one in a best of, 10 best of swags is to me, appalling. <laughs> and I feel like we should have done better. But they they are really popular and they're an alternative. Now, I, I'll, I'm going to say it right now, okay? I agree with you and I've not said that do you, yet. Do you I actually? do actually agree with you that it's not Why a swag. Why do you fight me so hard? I just, I've been holding on to that for weeks <laughs> and I wanted to say it into this episode, right? <laughs> um it's it's not a swag by definition of what we talked about. To me, a swag is doesn't have poles. That I go right back to what a swag is. Just just a canvas envelope with a mat in it. Mm. That's that's a swag by my mm. definition. I I didn't say a lot of this because I just wanted to see how how angry you'd get. Yeah, really. um, and very angry. So no, the swagger isn't a swag, but I don't think it's a tent. <laughs> but it okay, is there, a tent. There, there are, uh, there's some this other is examples problem. I've got. But this is the problem that I have <clears throat> is like, and I get that you're like, okay, no, it's not a swag, but it's a swag alternative. But it's not even a swag alternative. It's just a tent because the only thing that differentiates that product from, say, the Coleman Traveller 3P tent or any other small instant up tent is the fact that Coleman use it as a swag alternative in their marketing, they use those words. Agree with you. But apart from Coleman's marketing material, there is nothing about that product that differentiates it or makes it any more swag like or any different to any other small instant up. I agree with tents. you, but and why so- not challenge the the norm? And what, like, so Coleman brought something. They could just brought brought out another two or three person tent, right? Yeah, and it just gets lost in all the white noise. And it may not do so well. Agreed. Instead, they brought out this tent that said, well, this is an alternative to a swag. Maybe you don't want a big bulky um, swag. You don't want to buy it and think, oh, I want to upgrade the mat. And now I've got another foam mat and, and a good mat and I don't know what to do with this foam mat. Mm. I just kind of need the shell in the swag kind of size that's reasonably heavy duty and I want to put my mat in it. Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't, I don't want to go quite as lightweight as some tents. So it fits that void exactly what Coleman said. It it does fit that void as a swag alternative, but that doesn't mean it should be number one on the top 10 best swags of 2022 because it isn't a swag. And I think it's not – I think it sort of does a bit of injustice to say that it's a swag. But we don't. We, say, we challenge it in the, in the article. We say – it's it's not it's a bit of a grey area, all right? But if we didn't put it there, the people looking is, for a swag and wanting that alternative might not know it exists because they don't know to search for true. this tent that might be a swag. They're, true. they're looking but for you, an alternative. It could be placed in the blog or in say, oh, look, these are our top ten swags, but, hey, check out this alternative if well, the swag isn't quite well, for you. that's what we did to start with. Uh, it wasn't top. It was like these new things are coming out. And they boomed in popularity. Yeah. So. I don't know. I just feel like uh, for me personally, there isn't a grey area. <laughs> okay. Let's just, just, because the, just because it, the way that my brain works is that 
you can fit into one category or another. And it's pretty simple. And I don't think that there's any brand of Swent on the market <laughs> that can't be well put into either a tent or a swag category. Well, I think Swent is for someone who says, I, I want something heavier than a heavier duty than a small two person tent, but I don't really want to go for the simplicity or bulkiness of a swag. I need something in between that I could put my own mat in. So then get a Swent. So then where does the Swent start and the swag stop? Well, there's, I think your mind looks for these like black and white lines that goes here and stops here. No, but seriously though. So let me, let me play with your mind a little bit more. Mm. Oz 10 have just brought out some swags. Yeah. Have you looked at them closely? I have. Yeah. Okay. DS, is it DS, DS one and two swags? Yep. Are they swags? Yeah, they are. Why? Because they're, you roll the bed up and everything. They're a dual skin swag. They've got a fly over the top. Yeah, but it's the bed. So if you took the mat out. How is that much different than the swagger? The swagger cannot physically be packed up with a bed inside it. The way that the frame works and the way that the structure of that product works is it's not physically possible for you to pack away a mattress and potentially a sleeping bag in there and and physically pack it up. You ca- how, you, you just you can't physically do it. How many other swags do you know that have got a true dual skin setup with vegetables? Vegetables. I don't know any others. So it fits in this grey area. This but how many? Area, right? How many? No, because it's it's a bed. It's a shelter, regardless of whether or not it's dual skin and it has poles. It's it's a shelter that can be rolled up containing a bed. So you say, oh, how many other swags are dual skin and have vestibules? Okay, none. But how many other tents that are swag like have double skin and a frame? Can you pack up a bed? bed in. You can't. And to me, the difference between a swag and a tent is whether or not a bed can be rolled up inside of it and packed away for that product to then be opened up and set up and be an all-in-one bed and shelter. Now, there is also stretcher tents, which you could go, oh, but that's a hybrid. But yeah, of course it's a hybrid because you also can't pack up a stretcher tent with a mattress and your sleeping bag inside. It's just not physically possible. And even though Oztent have brought out another swag, I can't think what it's called, their the new light, ultralight ULS biker swag, one, yeah. right, that doesn't come with a mattress, but you can absolutely pack that away with a mattress in. If you choose to get, you know, a nice sort of small uh, uh, light self-inflating mat to go in that, if you're a bicycle tourer or a motorcycle tourer, you can roll that up and pack that away with all your bedding inside. It's, it's physically could, possible. I reckon you could roll up a swagger with a, with a, a small self-inflating mat inside. You, I can tell what, you right what, now you absolutely can't because the way that that packs up is it's essentially like got don't the, recommend the, it. the two triangle ends. No, I couldn't physically tell you how, how that would Not be the possible. Not one, an airfield mat, so it just goes flat on the bottom. No, I don't reckon you could. Okay. Only because the sides collapse down and then the frame goes into the middle and then you fold up those corner poles and it all folds in on itself and then you have to bunch of – I can't physically see a way that you could you could pack that up with a, self in, a, a, a flat, empty, self-inflating mattress inside so, of it. So what about the Austin RS1 swag? Now this was one that was on my list that I wasn't a hundred percent sure about because I don't, don't. It doesn't pack up. Matt doesn't pack up inside. It packs yeah. up with it in the so bag. So I wouldn't class the RS one as the swag. Okay. See, for me, that's that's is it a that's tent? the definition. Yeah, it but is it's a tent. Got a, but it's all packed up in the bag with a with a bedding in it. But you can't have a mattress in, so it's not a bed. But it's in the bag. It's all sold as a thing together. It's all sold so, as so a thing together. So would you buy that as an alternative to a two person tent? No, because it's one person, isn't it? I well, don't one think person you can tent, put- sorry. Okay, one person. So if you're looking at a uh, swag or if you're looking at a lightweight one or one person tent, yeah. would you go, oh, this RS1's a good alternative? I would say the RS1 would be a really good alternative if you're just looking at it at a one person tent. But so then, I, don't, I don't know what the weight is though, but I think there's 11 something kilos. So you're going from a two kilo one person tent to an 11 kilo. Depends what you're looking for in, in a tent though. So because if, you, if I, you want heavier duty than a one-person tent but you don't want a swag, then you need a swent, right? Something in between? No, if you don't in want a swag, then you just go for a tent. But, but, yeah, but what that, if you want yeah. a canvas heavy duty tent but you don't want – I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But what I'm saying is I think that you can classify as a tent or as a swag. I don't think there's a, a – I don't think a swent th- exists. But if we – if people want – I think we can offer. I think there's this grey area in between that bridges the gap. 
between people who go, I don't want this lightweight turn. I need need to be able to throw it around. I need it to be rough and you know, I need to be, be able to be reasonably rough with mm-hmm. it and not have it all fall apart. And, and uh, yeah, we're there just is, showing I guess there's a middle ground of tents, category. Like, there is a middle, is a swing. <laughs> there's a middle ground category in terms of tents that fit that box and swags that fit that box. But I don't think that a swent as a product exists. <laughs> What about the, the Nebula and the Outbreak <laughs> there probably, swags then? There are probably so many people out there listening the to this going, now. oh, my God, Lauren, just get over it. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Nebula or Let the Outbreak go. then? No, they, they're a swag because they can all roll up and pack in one go. Have you tried to roll one of those up with a thing in it? Yeah, I have. They're not the easy. Bum. They are a pain in the bum, but and it's, the, a bed. And the, it's a bed. There's more it's time a, putting It's a bed and shelter so all that, in one. So that's a swag. Yeah, it is. It's a bed and a shelter all, all in one. All the time you spend putting that frame together, there's more time putting that frame together than a than – a, I think your argument's faulted. Anyway. There's a, if, if, if it's a bed and a shelter and it's all in one, it's a swag. <laughs> I think you're too black and white on this. I might be. And I think you're, shel- I might be. you're sheltering pot- people who are potentially kind of like, I don't want that and I don't want that and he's something in between. Are you going to tell them no? Well, you, you see that that or that or are you going to say, well, there's kind of this bit in the middle that kind of does both. Let's give it a different name. Well, I think if people if people call up and they're like, oh, one or ten, but, you know, these are my limitations, then, of course, you can guide them with the tent. And then you can go, well, have you considered this range of swags? You know, it's we get a bed in it. <laughs> I think we're going to put it to the public now. Yeah, I think and it has to be taken, public. Let's come with that. What mean, about twag? <laughs> do I, <laughs> I think for me ultimately – the issue is the fact that the swagger tent, which it clearly is a tent, which I know for a fact because I have two of them, and it would be a lot easier for me to take a swag, but the kids want more room. They want to share a space with the, with a sibling. They want to have their bags in there. They want to read books. They want to sit in there. And, you know what I mean? And you can't really do that if you're in a little swag. It would be easier for me to take four swags, but instead – I have to take two tents and four mattresses and four sleeping bags and blah, 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 blah. So it's not a swag alternative. And what people don't necessarily realise is they might be like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't want to necessarily have a big swag. But if you're buying a small tent that your bedding doesn't fit into, then that's three separate things that you're going to have to carry. You know, you've got your swag, you've got your tent or your swent or whatever the heck you want to call it. And then you've got your mattress packed separately. And then you've also got your sleeping bag and then you have to set your tent up and then you have to put your mattress in and you have to undo that. And, and then you get, your, do you know what I mean? It's not the same as a swag. Wow. And so the site, the, the amount of packing space that you need often for a swent that requires you to carry your bedding separately is going to be the same more or less as many of the actual swag options. Probably be a little bit less bulky because you haven't got all the, the heavy canvas, but not. You, I, I, I agree with most of what you're saying. Yeah. But I do think our customers are probably clever enough to look at something and go, well, that is or is not a, I a, totally a swag get or I, a tent. I totally but I do think if we hadn't put that in with the swags, then people might go through life and buy, buy something and then see these things later and go, I didn't know they existed when I was looking for swags. That's perfect for what I'm after. True. But I mean, sw- and we're not hiding it. We're not swags saying these it's. These days swag. are crazy. Like swags these days are crazy, especially some yeah. of the other ones that have come out. Like I think is it uh, Darchi or 230? Sorry, both of you guys. One of them's released a swag, which is like the Outbreak or the Nebula, but it oh, has an extension extra, best it's vestibule. It's massive. Yeah. And I can't think a, which one it is. Um, it's, it's, is it it's Dutchies. Yeah. yeah. It's and like it, a Nebula 1600, I think maybe. Which is heaps of living space. Uh, Huge. And it's, it's a rock solid shelter. But it it must be massive when it's packed up, like way bigger than a than a you know ten person tent, mm. I would say. So, but I know, think it, people, it, it, people like it. I think for me, the difference there is if you are looking at a swag and you are looking at a tent and you're not really sure which one you want, you need to really consider what factors of the gear that you're getting is the most important to you. Yeah. And that's sort of how you narrow it down because ultimately if you if space is something that you need if if what's appealing to you is space mm. and that's why you're looking at say the Nebula 1600 
and you're like, oh, that's got a lot of storage space and whatever. Look at something like the Darchi Safari 260 because it's going to pack up, you know, it's yeah. still it's going to weigh a bit because it's canvas. It's going to pack way smaller. It's, it's going to be way quicker and easier to set up. Yeah. And in that you case, up in it. yeah, you can stand up in it. You can chuck your beds in there. It's really straightforward and really yeah. easy. So, yeah, it's, I think, yeah, I don't know. I reckon there's probably one main takeaway from this is there's this grey area mm-hmm. between the traditional definition of a swag and the traditional definition of a tent now. And it's probably important to have a look at just what you get with with that thing in the middle because there's lots of really yeah. cool products, but they don't all necessarily come with a fly sheet or, or a mat. I like the idea that some are coming without a mat now because I do feel like some brands threw a mat in just to say it's got a mat when it's a really yeah, ordinary really foam not- mat and you probably – you know, better spending a little yeah, bit yeah. extra and putting your own mat in there. So, so I do in, sometimes in I feel like good. a lot with a lot of brands and suppliers, if they're going to be offering a, a mattress with their swag, it needs to be more than make just a piece of foam. Like make yeah. it actually a decent swag. And these days a lot of the brands that do make swags also make self-inflating mats. So yeah. why not bother to make a self-inflating mat that goes in the swag from the get-go? Yeah, absolutely. I think Daichi did that for a bit. They, they did. They, it's could, called a BYO. Had, you could buy a skin. Yeah, I don't and think they're doing that anymore. No, but they not. they did. It was a bit confusing. But I think there is a move towards that. And perhaps yeah. the idea of just buying a canvas skin and get your own mat to go inside based on how small you want it to pack up or, yeah. or how comfortable you want it because you can get a ten centimeter ten centimeter thick mat makes it really comfortable, but a bit more muscle to roll it up packs up yeah. a bit bigger. But if you want small, you can get a smaller, you know, thinner hike mat or something to go in there and it packs up really small but you've still got that yeah. durability of the canvas on the outside. So The other thing to consider as well, especially, you know, if you're talking about that Swent category. It doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. But those larger swags that are sort of like a McSwagshin. Um, <laughs> oh, there's they another have one for every Another dictionary. one, yeah, McSwagshin. We should just, <laughs> that should be what the category is called. Um, they come with a foam mat. That is specific to the footprint of yeah. that particular product, and it's if you upgrade. are like, oh yeah, this is a bit of a rubbish mat, you can't really upgrade because your standard self-inflating mats or your upgrade mats don't really fit into that footprint, mm. and so you're paying for ultimately this large, awesome swag, swent tent space thing, which is great, but you might not actually be able to use it the way that you intended to when you purchase it if you do want to do things like upgrading. Yeah, you can go and buy just foam. You have to buy a slab yeah. of foam and then cut it, but it's got like 45-degree corners on it, hasn't it? Yeah. So if you go and, and some put of them are tapered there, and it yeah, just can it be really tiny, tricky. So. Anyway, I think I've um, – uh, to summarise, I agree with what you're saying, but there is this area in between uh, yeah. that, that blurs the lines between tent and swag. I don't think it's quite as black and white as what – how you see it or yeah. your mind works. Maybe. Um, it's like if you can pack your bed up in it, if that's important to you, then stick with swags. If it's not important to you and you don't want to have your bag packed up inside of it, then go for a tent. Yeah. And, and for, you know. For motorcycle touring and the likes it, with that uh, ULS1 swag, it's good to pack them separately probably. Yeah. You might not be able to. If you put a mat inside that, it would be quite bulky and it probably wouldn't fit in a pannier or something. But if I you, reckon if you, you use like some it, of those Cedar Summer ultralight that'd be a good option. hiking mats, I yep. reckon you'd be fine. It'd be tight to get back in the bag. I set them up the other day. I yeah, reckon right. if you put a mat in there, it'd be tight to get it back in the bag. But yeah. then you don't have to put it in the bag. You can just use a strap around the outside. So lots of options. But, yeah, um, have you got anything more to add? You didn't. I was expecting more angry, Lauren. <laughs> no, because as you started talking and you said you agreed with me, my yeah. Hulk was soothed a little bit. It yeah. was. It's just more that sometimes I can be a little bit, you know, what's the word, obstinate, maybe. And it's like if I'm <laughs> if I'm sure that something's right and nobody's validating me, I get real cross. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got and to so, have the conversation. Yeah, and I I think. And I do understand what you're saying about there being a grey area, but for me, I'm just, I just don't think that they're separate products. I think a product is either a tent or a swag, and some tents fit into that grey area, and some swags fit into that grey area. But it's still either just a tent or a swag. So we just remove the Swent label and just mm-hmm. say there's a grey area between the two, and you're happy. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's just settle for that then. 
I, I hope we can get heaps of people in on this conversation yeah. on the, the Facebook group. So jump on in there, ask to join if you haven't already. Let us know your thoughts. Um, just, uh, you know, let everyone know how I'm right and Lauren's wrong. But no, look, that wasn't what I set out to achieve today. And no, I knew it was never going to be like curious. that. I'm super curious. I'm so super curious. It'll be great to hear. Yeah, yeah for yep. sure. So let us know on the Facebook group. And like we said, if you haven't done so, subscribe via YouTube, um, your podcast app, or as I mentioned, join us at the Facebook group and we'll be all there for the conversation. Awesome. I'm interested to see this one. Catch you later next week. See you next time. Yeah. Bye.